What's up my dudes, Valg here, and today I'm here to spread the greatness of Sampokoski. I have recently fixed him, or recently finished building him, sort of. He's still got some more trace materials to go. But, I have him good enough to a point where I can confidently say Sampo got a massive glow up this update. And what I mean by that is there's a bunch of new enemies weak to wind. And enemies that are weak to wind are just fodder for this guy because of how he works and if you run him with enough break effect. I'm actually even debating swapping out his light cone, Eyes of Prey, for Fermata so I get a little bit more break effect. But basically I have him on 133% break effect, very high. And I have him on 137 speed, which is also pretty damn good. So here we go to the relics. I'm going to show you guys the relics real quick. You can see I have him on two-piece thief, two-piece of the new speed set because I have like speed. I like to go fast. But also going ahead and running him four piece for the extra 60% break effect is also fine. I just want that little bit of extra speed with 6%. So here you can see the pieces I have on. I have really good pieces on them. I'm very aware of that. Very strong pieces except for this. These two pieces are kind of eh. But I get a lot of speed out of it, which is fine. So speed here, you can see speed very good. Wind damage boost to go ahead and boost the DOT damage even higher. Break effect because break effect is strong on Sampo. Sampo hits six times using his skill, meaning it's going to be very very high so then we have this we have him on three two seven seven i definitely need to level this up more i don't know why i have his ultimate so low but yeah i thought i had his ultimate higher for some reason i don't know anyways obviously i have to work on some traces i have three little main notes to unlock then i want to get him to five eight and eight before kafka comes out and then the same thing with luca and kafka i want them both at five eight and eight it's taking me so much uh, resources to invest into my Nihility team, it'll probably take me slightly past Kafka's banner to actually build it all. But I'll showcase more as we get closer. But I want to mostly talk about Sempo today. Because Sempo is insane. Sempo is very, very good in the current state of the game. Because he is a break monster and almost everything is weak to wind. Because everybody's trying to sell you Blade right now. They want to sell you Blade and Kafka. So every, because of that, everything's weak to thunder and wind. And guess who Sampo's really, really good at doing? Good at breaking wind units. So we're going to run this team. This is the main team I use. Um, Fantilia can be pretty rough, actually, especially without Jepard or Locha. Uh, Locha makes it somewhat easier. Jepard makes it an absolute breeze because you get to ignore the HP reduction mechanic. However, uh, this is something that you really want to take advantage of if you have Sampo. It's just how good he breaks. Like, watch this. Boom, 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 boom. That's, what is that, a fifth of the bar already gone? You can see the, the DOT damage really isn't that high. It's not that crazy just yet. I want to get her a little bit lower before I use Sampo's ult. Maybe wait for another Sampo turn before I actually do it. But the second I do, you will see the value in it because we're going to go ahead and break effect with Sampo and use stuff like that. So we're just going to keep working her down. I think maybe one more Sampo use will be good. Well, maybe if I manage my skill points a little bit better. But I went ahead and Clara skilled when I shouldn't have. So we're, we're going to take one more extra turn because of that. So here we're just doing more work. We're getting that bar ever lower. And that's the main goal right now is to just get that bar lower and lower to the point where we can break it with Sampo's ult. And that's what we're kind of working towards right now. Um... We want to do this, and then we're going to follow it up with Sampo ult. So the reason we want to break with Sampo ult is just to guarantee that we get that wind shear break effect. You can see how much damage it did on just the break. Uh, we just wanted to guarantee that we get that wind shear on break effect, because you're about to see how much damage it does on the DOT as well. 20k. 20k a pop on DOT, and then a good, like, what was it, like 30k on the actual break itself. So you're able to constantly proc this with Sampo over and over and over again. Here we're going to use down hang, um, that way we can do this, and we're going to bop bop, we're going to keep working her down, and whenever she gets to Sampo, now here's where Sampo's main strength is, is whenever he's solo, he does a ton of break, ton, you can see the wind shear break effect, it's still going, it's at 17k, it's something that he can rely, it lasts for two turns and he can reliably prop it, or pop it every two turns. It's something he can do. So here he's going to break. Yeah, I figured it would it would kill or close to it. So we get hit by this from her, from Fantilia, and we go to the phase two, which is nice. So we're just going to keep rocking this. We're just going to keep pushing this out. And now without the skill points being consumed, we can kind of focus more on that. We want to, like I said before, we really want to save Sampo's ult. It's really important to save his ult up because we are going to try to use his ult just to break. That's it. 
Like we really want to use that ult to break. That way we can time our breaks better. So you really want to sit on Sampo's ult for a long time. And it's normally, you normally you don't want to do that night, right? Normally you want to just shotgun the ults. But with Sampo's ult, you want to save it because you want to be able to control on when it's going to hit. So here's like, whenever there's multiple enemies that aren't like kind of hard to kill, Sampo can struggle to kill them. But for the most part, it's not really a big deal. We're going to use Dan Hang here to go ahead and get some weakness down. Uh, we're going to pop ult here because it's going to do ev it's going to get him really low. So we'll get Fantelia low enough for Sempo to break. Oh, just quite. Not not quite there. I think after this normal, yeah, definitely no. So now we're going to do this with Sempo. We're going to break and it's going to do good damage. Watch. Boop boop. 32k, 3249 because we have break effect Sempo and we're able to just do a little bit more wind shear and really rack up that DOT. So now, whenever she comes back, you can see 18.65k, so effectively he's doing 50k on a break, which is really good. I think Silver Wolf does a good bit more, but it's still just really strong. Here we want to kind of conserve our skill points, because like I said, I'm talking, so I'm not paying too close attention, but I do gotta watch, because Fantilia can hit kind of hard. So we want to just generate our ult, get our ult up faster, and because he hits so much, he generates ult so fast. Like, he generates ult so damn quickly, which is really nice. So here we're going to do this. This is not good. Um, Oh, he's dead. Oh, we're fine. We got Sempo. Surely Sempo carries. <laughs> I didn't think I need to heal, and I didn't think she would do that move, but she did. So that kind of sucks. Um, We're going to do this. We're going to pop this. That's not... Is it good? That's fine. Clara plus Sampo. Easy, easy dub skis, right? Easy dub. So we're going to do this, we're going to pop the flowers, we're going to pop Clara's ult. Make sure we get Clara's ult off because we're about to eat some damage. So Clara can constantly counter, draw aggro, keep aggro off of uh, Sampo. We want to just normal with Clara. Here we're going to use Don Hang, and we're going to do a bunch of break damage, which is really important because we don't have our main applier of break right now, which is, uh, which is Blade. So we're going to just do this. Yeah, we didn't get lucky on the bounces either. Yeah, that's one part that can be kind of rough about Sampo, but here we have Clara to kind of take a lot of the uh, punishment if she actually targets Clara. There we go, lock on. Perfect. So, we're just going to go ahead and do... Not this. We're just going to do this for now. And then we're going to do this to try to drain a Clara's ult faster. No, leave Sampo alone. All right, cool. So now we're just chilling. That's potentially bad. Oh, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. <laughs> we're fine, we're not fine. But I'm saying it to make myself feel better. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. We're gonna, we don't wanna use Locha's ult yet. Yeah, we wanted to wait for that to go down so we can get one stack and hopefully his passive will come up before something bad happens. So now we're going to try to break. If we get multiple hits on her, no, it's still not enough. We're just shy of it. We need like, we need like one more Locha hit, basically. So here we're gonna do this. Locha's gonna get hit. He's gonna self heal. That's going to proc the field. Field's gonna proc, and we're gonna start healing, which is really good. Uh, so we want to make sure we keep healing. Very nice. Like I said Clara's got it. Clara's got us here. So now, I think we're good to go ahead and Sampo ult early. Because we just really need to hit her like once or twice. Which I'm sure we can get, yeah. So here we're going to get a good little break. Good old 30k break. We're going to do that. We're going to normal him here just to generate skill point, bringing his ult up. What was Blade even doing here? Do we even need Blade? We're good to go. Alright. Surely. All right, so we're good here. We're going to want to pop this just to get some healing going, because she could potentially do some very mean shenanigans. Okay, she didn't. I just wanted to make sure that there were no shenanigans happening. I'm, I'm not a big fan of shenanigans. So we're going to go ahead and do this, which will pop this, and then we also get Don Hang again. So we can keep the aggro on Clara. All right, and we definitely want to try to stop this from happening. 
Although it's probably going to happen pretty damn soon if I was a betting man. Mm, if you don't know what I'm referring to, she has a little mechanic that's just not very fun to deal with. Alright, so we're going to target her again with Sampo. Yeah, there it goes. Uh, is Clara dead off this? Oh, almost. And we'll heal. Oh, yeah, we're good to go, actually. We win this. And we'll heal here. And you can see how Sampo and Clara are the majority of the damage going on. And I know that for a fact because Blade's dead. So uh, it's pretty easy to tell who is doing what. Who is contributing what to the team. Uh, it's pretty easy to tell. So here we're going to do that. Look, can we give Sampo the dub? Can we get Mr. Koski the W here? Mm -mm -mm. Nope, Clara took it. But you get the idea. You can see, because the enemy is weak to win, Sampo is just good right now. You pierce, you, like, you could take that team I just ran. Obviously, Blade dying at the beginning isn't very optimal. But you could take this team I just ran, replace Clara with Silverwolf, and then you do so much more damage on the break. Like, Silverwolf increases or decreases defense by about, I think it's like 50 60%. And because of that, she's going to increase the amount of damage they take on Break and DOT, so it ends up becoming a really good. And then she can also apply Weakness, so Silver Wolf's a character to look out for the Nihility team. If you have her, if you don't have her, don't stress it, obviously, Event Limited 5 Star. But I really wanted to make this video talk about Sampo, because Sampo is just really good right now. And the current state of the game, in 1.2 in general, because there is a bunch of mon- a bunch of- I was gonna say a bunch of monkeys. Because <laughs> the monkey, I'm thinking of the monkey enemy, right? Um, but there's a bunch of enemies weak to wind. The monkey plus uh, Fantilia are two really big examples because the monkey is a massive pain to butt to deal with. I'm sure a lot of you guys struggle against the monkey. If you don't, then cool. But I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that do struggle against the monkey because the monkey can just say absolutely screw you to one of your characters. And Sampo with the DOT is really, really good. Sampo is also very strong in later MOC floors because the way breakness works, or breakness, the way toughness works and the way weakness break works is it depends on enemy level and character level and the higher the in, the higher the difference between the two and the more toughness the enemy has the more damage you do on break effect like a good example is uh for moc whenever i was doing moc before it reset because it just reset today i was doing 50k plus on dot's because the enemy had that much toughness and i shred it down with sampo and then i go ahead and pop it and it running sprightly von Wack on sampo is also really good because you get to do all that at the beginning of the turn which is really nice Anyways, that's the video. Just want to talk about why Sampo is so good. If you want Sampo, he's going to be on Kafka's banner. So that means summon for Kafka. You have a chance of getting Sampo, Serval, Luka. Sampo's, going to, Sampo's already really good. Hopefully I showed you why in this video. Uh, I think Luka's going to be really good as well. But other than that, thank you guys for watching as always. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful day. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.